Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Ah, that was a scary uh, demonstration there. Uh, that thief looked like a bit of a clown though. So I don't know how successful that guy's gonna be. Uh, anyhow, it's Tesla Canuck. I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about sentry mode, which everyone probably knows about by now. Any car can get broken into, but Teslas have that advantage of sentry mode. And sentry mode is going to capture the video of the thief and it's going to record that video to a local USB um, thumb drive or perhaps a, an SSD drive, depending on what it is that you use. Now, it's really important that if somebody does break into your vehicle, that you have uh, your USB drive or your SSD drive concealed. And until now, there's really just been one product on the market uh, that I would have recommended, which would have been the Jetta Hub. Now, TapTez has come out with the exact same thing. In fact, I think it has additional ports or more ports than the Jetta Hub. And the Jetta Hub is 79 US dollars at the time of filming. And the TapTez product is only $25. So you could get three of these for the price of one Jetta Hub. But is it any good? That's what we're going to find out today. Okay, so here I'm. Um, Here's the product. <laughs> so why don't we uh, go and do a quick unboxing first to see what you get in it. And then we're gonna do a fit test. And then we're gonna do a quality test. We're gonna do just how well it works. How well does it conceal uh, your SSD drive or your USB thumb drive? And uh, does it look good um, in your console? Does it fit properly? So let's check out the unboxing. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so in the packaging here, you've got the actual unit that's going to be used to hide your SSD or your USB, or whatever you're using for sentry mode. Let's put the box over here for a moment. And we will open up the cover, see what's inside. Looks like we have a USB type C connection, which is great. Uh, my SSD card is a USB C, so that's great. And we've got some instructions, and I guess we'll get rid of those. And it looks like we've got some a 3M sticky. I've got no nails. I can't get this out. There we go. Um, looks like it's a magnet of some sort, uh, 3M sticky tape. I guess you could put this on your SSD card, and then it'll connect securely there and not rattle around or that type of stuff. So that's very thoughtful. This is um, a great addition. So that's basically everything that you get in the box. And uh, let's move on to the fit test. All right, the other good thing about the these hubs that go right in here to conceal your SSD drive um, is that it also deals with the clutter. Because as you can see, there's a lot of mess down there. And whenever you reach in, you just grab a pile of wires. So uh, solutions like the TapTez um, hub will also solve that problem in addition to uh, concealing your, your SSD drive or USB key, um, flash drive, whatever you're using to store your video. All right, let's clean this junk out and uh, let's install the product. Okay, so once you get uh, all the stuff cleared out, you'll have these two USB ports right here. And then you'll notice that at the back of the product here, that there are uh, two USB male um, connections and they're going to fit right in there. Now the trick is that because of the shape of it and how snug it's gonna fit in there, you have to kind of Put your, your cell phone um, docking station or smartphone docking station up like this and you have to start from the top right here and then it's kind of kind of slide down like this and then you'll be able to push it back into the uh, USB slots like this and then it's in. So uh, that's like what a two second install and you can see it's got a data and power um, USB input uh, and then two power ones and then a type C. Like, this is really versatile and fantastic. If we take the cover off, that's going to conceal the um, SSD drive when I get that installed. But you can see that uh, 
you've got a USB-C connection here and it's going to keep it nice and tidy. There's a magnet here that I'm going to attach. Uh, I can't get it off. I don't have any nails. <laughs> so I won't do that on camera. But um, I'm going to mount the SSD with the magnet. I'm going to plug it in and uh, we're going to see if it, uh, if it works. And then I'm going to make sure that the wireless charging pad uh, still works as well. Okay, and there we have the SSD drive installed and it's plugged in. Let's go take a look up here and we can see, hopefully it's not uh, backlit or something, but you can see right there that we have the red dot and it's recording. So it's getting power and uh, look how clean that looks. That is so clean. So let's put the cover back on. And then normally, you know, obviously you're not going to have a giant light down there. I'm just doing that so that you guys can um, actually see what I'm doing in this in this cubby hole. Uh, so if we take this away, right, I mean, look how concealed that looks. I mean, that looks like it belongs there from the factory. And you'd really have to know that there's uh, something in there to actually, um, you know, break into it. So that looks great. So let's make sure that the wireless charging is still going to work. So I'm going to plug, uh, actually, I don't want to use the data one. I'll use these power ones here, just like that. And I'm going to put that back down and let's grab wireless charging enabled phone. I'm going to slap that down. And there we go. Wireless charging is still working. This is awesome. This is like an awesome solution. 25 US dollars. I can't believe it. Save the money, get the TapTest product. So in conclusion, you're going to save a ton of money by going with the TapTest product. It works uh, amazing. It fits amazing. The quality is great. Uh, I'll do a follow-up after you know a few months just to make sure that uh, there aren't any problems with it. But I've had really positive experience with TapTez products in the past. Uh, important to note that uh, TapTez did provide me with a sample. Uh, they have not uh, paid any monies for me to make this video. They do not have any copy approval. They're seeing this for the first time as you guys right now. So I will link uh, the you know, description and, you know, link to the product uh, down below in the description. Uh, if you're interested in saving some money, give this product a try. Tesla Canuck, over and out. Uh -huh.